Hello, Paul again. Uh, what's today's project? Uh, well, we're going to do a soft start board, populate it, install it, and into a Heathcote SB200. I'll put a link in the description for the manufacturer, which is W7RY, and the person's name is Jim. Um, I purchased two boards, I've installed one, so I'm going to populate the second. I'll turn you around. Okay, two cups of coffee finished. <laughs> and uh, we've got uh, the second board here. Um, this is a relatively straightforward um, uh, process, populating. You do need to get the right parts, so you do need to concentrate on the parts list. I purchased a mixture of, um, I purchased the relays, which were Omrons from Mauser, and all the other components I either had or um, purchased locally, with the exception of the carbon uh, 1.3 kilo ohm resistor. Um, I purchased that off eBay. It's a Vichet. Um, very, it's a bit difficult to find these, but anyway. All right, so here's the board. It's relatively straightforward. This is the new update version. Um, on this board, we're going to put the ceramic. Um, we're going to put the ceramic resistors, the 10 watt, uh, 10 ohm, underneath the board, not on top. And we're going to have two fuses, F3 and F2, on the top side of the board. And the ceramic uh, resistors will be what the board sits on underneath when we're finished populating. Okay, I'm just going to go through and quickly populate this board and then come back and show you the installation process. All right, I've populated the board. It took about 10 minutes. I'll put heat shrink on all exposed connections, um, the example being the resistor. I'll put gold pins on the um, 120 volt input on each side, that's W1 and W2. So we can see that. The fuses are a 3 amp 240 volt quick blow fuse. The capacitors are 220 UF at, gee, I can't remember what, the 63 volts. The relays are Omrons, uh, 48 volt DC or uh, up to 250 VAC and you can see the part number on there and I just I've run out of terminal lugs but the orange is um, the positive side and then the negative side through the switch and that's how the um, the resistors are mounted underneath again just use heat shrink on any exposed lines and that's ready to install now I've already got one installed this is my backup uh, for for whatever project comes up in the future all right here's the finished installation I've just neatened up all of the the lines it gave me a chance to go over and check um, other connections on all the tombstones actually found this capacitor shorting out on the positive VAC line which it shouldn't be it's a separate a separate uh, line um, so that capacitor goes to this capacitor and the the 120 volt that comes out is on a totally different tombstone that's on the fans tombstone so there was a bit of an issue there all right so what have we done okay so we've um, taken the switched wires off the switch here straight into the soft start module screwed those in either side and then this is the return line to the transformer to get power to the relays of taking off one side of the fan and it goes to here and then this side of the fan goes to this side and then I've just sleeved some fiberglass cover on the top of that and then cable tied all of the cables to keep them out of the way 
and as per the previous video this is the power supply board which I've just added um, I just neatened up the metering board desoldered that wire and then cable tied and did a better connection of it um, so in, when, whenever I see any sign of um, the covering of uh, wires um, have shrunk back five mil or so I will remove uh, recut and re-solder and install with if uh, can't get a, a, a nice looking connection I put a bit of heat shrink around it as well all right uh, the next um, process is to start it up and I'll show you okay I'm just going to turn this on and you can see by the meter you'll hear a quick click around about three second delay I think it is Gee, something's going to happen it's going to happen <laughs> the power lead I pulled it out uh, to make things safe when I was working on it all right here we go and there we go there was a quick click and of the relays so we can hear when I disconnect hear that and there we go that's done Alright, moving forward, thank you for watching.